What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You know I recently took a trip to Hawaii while I was there. I wanted to check out the island of Kauai. So I flew over there, rented an electric car via Turo, and then checked out the island known as the Garden Isle, which is absolutely lush and tropical, and is uh, the location for shooting a variety of movies, including Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones, as well as Tropic Thunder. Now while I was there, I stayed at a hotel called the Kauai Shores Hotel, and I wanted to share my experience with that hotel with you. First of all, when you get there, it's very nice. It's very open. Uh, the parking is very, very tight. In fact, they have free valet and a lot of times you might be forced to use it just because the, not only are the spots very close, but there isn't a lot of parking. Once you check in, uh, you can actually get a towel for the beach and the pool and you want to do that as well as you're going to turn that towel in to get a new towel when you need it. So the lounge area is very large. It's very open and it has a little bit of a colorful Ikea feel. There's a small gift shop there where you can also buy some drinks. Right next door to the hotel is actually a shopping village with even a small grocery store. So you're within walking distance of all the supplies that you need, which makes it really convenient. The hotel does have an interior and exterior restaurant, which I'll cover in more detail a little bit later. Now, outside the main building is a pool. There's actually a couple pools, one right next to the main building, one kind of on the north end near some of the other rooms. All the rooms are in motel-like long buildings. So it's set up a little bit like a campus. The pools were a very popular place, especially for families traveling with young kids, and I think that's because it's a little bit calmer and a little safer area than going into the ocean. Now, the reason I think there are a lot of families there is the price point. While the prices bounce around a little bit, the highest advertised price I saw was in the low 200s, and then on the off season, it looks like it gets down to $130 or $140 a night, which is an incredible value for any of the Hawaiian hotels. There are a number of great places to lounge, like this fire pit. There's also a pretty large open lawn where they have some lawn games out, like bags and ladder ball. All the equipment seem to be out every day, so it seems to be available on a first come first serve basis. Between the lawn area and the beach is another nice little restaurant area that actually is both sand as well as patio area. And there's a lot of lounge chairs and patio chairs out there. In the evening there is live music as well as a covered bar area. So this is a great place to be, especially at night. This, this is the place that was really happening. Now, the best thing about this is its proximity to the beach, which is just a few steps away from everything else at the resort. While they have about a dozen loungers out on the beach, there is definitely more demand for the loungers than there are loungers. And so I would su definitely suggest taking a blanket to go spend some time at the beach because getting a lounger during the day might be a little difficult. Now, they stay out there overnight and so being able to grab a lounger in the evening was not a problem. And even after dark was a nice experience to take in kind of the night air and the sounds of the ocean. Just behind that beach is the Lava Lava Beach Club, which is a restaurant and bar. They serve full breakfast, lunch, happy hour, dinner, and then obviously the bar is open throughout the evening. During the weekends, the live music didn't seem to be limited to the evening, and they even had music during the day, which was really quite nice. Here, take a listen. Now you can certainly have lunch or dinner here. My recommendation is that on the weekend, it actually gets pretty busy by customers that are not staying at the hotel. So in fact, one evening, I couldn't even get a reservation for the Lava Lava. Now, the food there was very good. And in fact, what I noticed is that there isn't as much of a culinary variety on Kauai as I expected. And so this was actually one of the better places uh, to get some dinner of any of the places that I tried. Now, it also didn't hurt that the food was pretty good and the desserts were pretty decadent. I did hit up the restaurant again the next morning for breakfast and breakfast was pretty good too. Lots of your standard breakfast fare, including a lot of meats and eggs. On this particular day, I had the muffins, 
some juice, the Tropic Thunder Skillet, as well as the Cheese Omelet. All quite good. And one thing that you might not know about Hawaiians is they love Spam, and so they would bring the bill to you in a, an empty Spam can. Now, the buildings with the rooms are set up a little bit like motels and are spread around the Kauai Shores Hotel campus. In fact, the whole place has a little bit of a camp-like feel to it. Now the rooms are fine, but they're a little bit dated and that's really why the price point of this hotel is what it is. And so you can't really expect a really luxurious accommodation here, but that's really not the point of the Kwai Shores Hotel. It's really about the ambiance and having a casual time and not feeling cooped up and overly stuffy. You know, it was a great place in the evening to go sit by the fire, read a book, have some conversation, enjoy the beautiful weather and the winds off of the ocean. And again, live music each night gave the place a lively and casual feel. The thing about the Kauai Shores Hotel that I really liked is it was just a place where you could go and relax. There's no pretense there. Uh, things have a little bit of age and wear on them, and I really liked that, that you don't feel like it's overly polished and kind of just image-driven like a lot of really nice resorts. It's a place where you can go and be casual and dress down and go out and have a rugged and exhausting afternoon in Kauai, enjoying and exploring, and then come back and relax without feeling like it's too formal. And in fact, most of the evenings I came back and grabbed a chair on the beach and just took in the evening. Now, no matter where you book it online, you're going to get charged the $30 or $40 a day resort fee when you get there. But nonetheless, I think it's a great value and a great way to enjoy Kauai without breaking the bank. The Kauai Shores Hotel. Peter Ron Panda out.